Hello guys, I'm Megan Graham, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I actually lived in mold about four years ago. I got super sick, and you may have seen some of my other videos about mold illness and the healing process. So I wanted to come on here today because so many people have been asking me about what I did with my possessions when I moved out of my moldy apartment. Now, I can never tell you what you should do. I can only tell you what I've done. And I did bring the possessions from my apartment with me to where I live now. That's not necessarily what, I, don't, I hate living in Boston and trying to film. There's like sirens outside completely. And I'm just gonna keep going because it's getting dark and I need my light. So anyway, sorry for the sirens, but anyway, so I did bring my possessions with me. You may not want to do the very same thing because if you have soft furnishings like the big couch that I am sitting on, they can definitely become contaminated with mold. And depending on how much you were affected by the mold, you might have a lot of problems if you bring those items. So I will say that yes, I did have mold in my last, or not my last apartment, but it was my last apartment actually. Um, I did have mold and it is what made me sick. Um, there was not an incredible amount of it in the air and I, probably should have trashed everything that was soft, including my couch, my mattress, um, my chairs, my rugs. Um, when we bought this big place, we really couldn't afford to trash all of our belongings. So I don't really know how different I would feel right now if I had gotten rid of everything. I did wash every single piece of my clothing. I treated things with EC3, which I'm going to be linking to as well in the description below. And on top of it, I did the Edward Close Mold Protocol, which uses Thieves Essential Oils, which I will also link to. So I fogged my entire apartment thoroughly, um, not while I was in the apartment over the course of several days, which made a huge difference to me. Um, that said, I do know that for some people, they have to get rid of every single thing that they have that is soft to get better. Um, I will say that my husband and I are planning on traveling probably within the next six months in a travel trailer and at that point we're really not going to be bringing any of our soft goods so we're going to have a new mattress, um, all of our clothes will be laundered before we go and it's going to be really interesting to see if I feel any different when we leave all of the things behind. I don't think that I'm reacting to the things in my apartment, but I do know that for many people, when they move out of their homes, it means getting rid of everything. So I have a friend that went through a similar thing, and when she moved out of her apartment that made her sick, she got rid of every single beautiful piece of furniture. She had to replace it. She lives very minimally now. Um, I will say that I do not have a lot of rugs and a lot of different things that can collect dust because I vacuum my house every single day to keep the dust levels as low as I possibly can. And if I were to have, a, like I thought about hanging a beautiful rug over my bed and I thought it would look so nice and it would give the bedroom better acoustics. But then when I thought about it, it would be catching dust, which is problematic for me as for those of you that don't know, dust actually holds mold. So the fewer soft items that I have in my apartment, the better. And definitely it could have been a lot better if I got rid of all of my soft things. But I think that for all of us, as we're moving and as we're transitioning, we have to think about what we're willing to let go of. So I will say that I had items in storage in the basement of the building that was moldy and I did get rid of all of those items. And that was really painful for me because I had some beautiful gowns. I had a lot of clothes and shoes that I wanted to bring with me, but I actually had remediated my apartment. So there was not as much mold exposure in my direct apartment, but for things that were in the basement, I could actually tell when I went into that basement how bad it was. So I could not bring those things with me. So I did get rid of some things. I just didn't get rid of everything. I think that initially, when you have a mold exposure, you're extremely panicked and you're not sure what to do. And if there's one mistake that I see, it's how quickly people bounce out of that moldy apartment, thinking that they're going to be safe in the next place, when in reality, it's so important that you actually make sure that your next place is a safe place. And it's really hard to find a place if you've become mold sensitive from mold exposure. It's really hard to find a place that is not going to affect you with the mold. 
So I always think that people should take their time. Obviously, if it is a clear cut, unbelievable problem, you know, if you're ripping out the baseboards and you see, I'll say black mold, but it doesn't have to be black to make you sick. But if you can visibly see mold, you do have to get out of there at least temporarily while repairs are being done because it's most likely not going to be safe for you to be there. Um, but I think it's really up to the individual to see how they feel about bringing their possessions. So I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I was getting this question a lot in my mold videos and I just wanna make videos for you guys about my experience. I've gotten so much better than I used to be. I still have a ways to go with my healing, but the difference in how I feel now compared to how I used to feel is amazing. So I do post a lot of my favorite links to some products that I've used that work really well for me. Um, I know that somebody on my video said, oh my gosh, you're selling all this stuff in the descriptions. And for me, I'm just telling you what worked for me. So I would never sell you anything. I would only tell you what worked for me and you really have to decide what is going to work for you and what resonates with you as the right thing to do. Guys, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and let me know as well. Have you had a mold problem? Did you get rid of your things? Are you considering getting rid of your things? And have you also looked up the Edward Close mold protocol? I'm really excited about that protocol. It made a huge difference for me and how I felt. And I still do it here. Um, I do little mini foggings of my closet, of the master bathroom, just things to keep the mold at bay whenever possible. Guys, thank you for listening. Stay healthy and stay beautiful, and I'll talk to you soon.